Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a brand new feature in Glide and it has everything to do with images. Glide makes it super easy to take bits and pieces of information and data and links and transform them into a beautiful interactive app. And there's no better way to boost the visuals of your app by adding images. But up until now, there hasn't been a great way to display multiple images per record. For example, if we're allowing our users to add multiple images of themselves, we'd have to either add multiple columns and allow them to add images per column, or we'd have to allow them to add multiple rows to some sort of images table. But now Glide has given us a brand new component and a brand new column in order to make this so much simpler. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what's new. Now, the first thing that I wanna show is how we've been doing it up to this point. So in our data editor, I have a list of some hotels and maybe I wanna display some images for each hotel, right? We could create a few different image columns and populate the images for each of those columns. But this is not dynamic, meaning if I wanted to allow a hotel to have 10 images, I would have to have 10 different image columns in order to make that happen. Or if I wanted to allow them to have 10 images or a dynamic amount of images, I could create a new images table and allow them to submit a form where they're doing one image per form submission. And then they'd have multiple rows of data for that one hotel. But the issue is if I have a thousand hotels and each of those thousand hotels each have 10 pictures, we're now we're talking about 10,000 rows of data for just pictures. And that can be kind of unwieldy and you'll hit your row threshold fairly quickly. So, I wanna to showcase today a new feature in Glide that'll make this a whole lot easier. So the first thing I wanna show is how we would maybe display these three images on this hotel details page. So if I were to dive into a hotel, what I could do is add a few different image content and point it to the correct image. And then I'd have to do a second one and a third one. And I'd point this to image two or point this to image three and so now I would have you know, a list of images for this hotel. And this is okay, but this is not dynamic. If I wanted to have the hotels be able to add in you know, 10 images or so, I'd have to go back into the app and give them 10 image components with 10 image columns to match that. And then they'd have to upload those images one at a time and so forth. It just gets kind of a little unwieldy. So instead of having individual image components, what we can now do is just use a singular image component. And instead of pointing it to a singular image, the Glide image component can now accept an array of images and display these images as an image carousel, like an image gallery that users can click through from side to side. This is gonna be fantastic, let me show you. So we need a way to create an array of these images. There's many ways to do this, but one of the easiest ways, if this is your setup, where you have multiple image columns, is to create an array of images using the make array column. So I can call this something like image array, and the type is going to be a make array column. And what the make array column does is it accepts either singular items or existing arrays, and it will end up being an array of whatever it is that you're deciding. For example, I can add in um, each of these pieces of information, like a name and an address and an image, this makes no sense, but just so you see it, it starts adding all of these different content over here to its own array. But in this case, we want an image array. So we're gonna actually add the images together, image one, image two, and image three. And Glide is smart enough to know that these are all images and results in an uh, image array column, like so. Now, up until this point, if you were to try to display this image array inside of an image component, you'd only get the first image in the array. So it wasn't very helpful. But now, look what happens when I point this image component to the array of images. And now our image turns into a gallery that you can click through. And what's cool about this image gallery is that you can keep clicking indefinitely and it just cycles back over again. Isn't that awesome? All right, so now that Glide can accept an array of images, there's a whole lot we can do with this in order to set up the image array. Um, in order to make this maybe look a little bit nicer, we can take this image and we can make it a size small. 
And so it's centered on the page like this, right? And now you can see there's actually three images. It bounces between those different three, right? And it locks it into this aspect ratio. So right now I'm doing an auto, so each of these images are full. But if I wanted to force it to be a different aspect ratio, let's say 16 by 9, now all of our images have a uniform dimension. And we can add this image to maybe a container. And this container can have some sort of other layout to it. And we can put the image gallery on one side and maybe some text on the other side. You get the idea, right? And so they can navigate through this gallery on one side and so forth. And if we make our image back to full, it'll take up that entire space, which is kind of nice. Okay, so having an image gallery component now solves the problem of having to display multiple images at once without having to scroll down a bunch, right? However, it doesn't solve the issue of having a dynamic amount of images. So one way to create a dynamic amount of images, as I mentioned earlier, is you could create a new table here. We can call it images. And maybe we need to define which hotel it is that we're referring to and the image itself. So this image will be an image column. And this will be the hotel ID or the hotel name. Maybe there's a timestamp, maybe there's a caption, right? And we can add the images this way. So let's say we're adding some new images for our Hotel Oceano. We can paste in Hotel Oceano in here. We can upload some images. So I'm gonna select a file to upload. Let's maybe do this one. And this could be a form inside of my app. It wouldn't necessarily have to live inside of the data editor for this. But you get the idea that we would populate a new table full of the images for any particular one of our records here. And then back in our hotels table, what we could do is do a relation to our images. We would relate the hotel name to the image's name match multiple, and then we could look up the images. And when you look up over a multiple relation like this, you generate an image array, just like the image array here. And so now I could point maybe this image collection to my lookup of the image array. So in this case, Hotel Oceano, again, has these three images. Okay, so we found out that our image component can now create a gallery from an image array, and that image array can come from a make array column or a lookup column over a multiple relation or over an entire sheet if you wanted to. But there's even an easier way. Glide now lets you create an image array column from a multiple image selector. Let me show you this. This is brand new in Glide. So in order to enable it, you have to go back outside of your team folder, go into previews, and enable multiple file upload, this third one down here. Okay, once you've enabled that, I'm gonna go back into my app. You now have access to a brand new column called the multiple image picker. You also have a multiple a file picker as well, but we'll dive into that in a later video. So now I can call this just images. And under the other column, you see we now have a devoted column to multiple images. I'll hit done on this. So with this new column, I can actually strip out a lot of this work that I've already done. I won't need individual image columns anymore. I won't need an individual image table anymore. The only time where you might want this image table is if you want to have additional items as part of the data, like the timestamp and a caption and the image and some dynamic alt text and, 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 right? Uh, but we're not gonna get into this. All we want is just a list of images that people can cycle through something super simple. So back in our hotels, we now have this images array, and now we can allow our admins in the app to add images to that array through a new component called the image picker. Okay, so let's say I'm on Hotel Oceano, and we're gonna allow our admins to be able to edit this record and upload images. So what I can do here is on this title component, I can add an action. We'll make it say edit. And we'll give it a nice little icon. And we're gonna show the edit screen. And so now when they click on edit, right, 
They can edit the name, the description, and now we want them to be able to pick the images. So uh, in the image picker, we can actually point our image picker to the new images collection. And you see that it actually transforms our component into a new multiple image picker, where we have the ability to drag images, plural, or upload images to this component. So now instead of having to upload images one at a time to each of those individual columns, I can instead click the upload images once, select all three images, hit open, and all three of them are now in here. And I can add additional, or I can keep on dragging and dropping them in. And when I'm ready to go here, I can hit submit. And now all three of those images are inside of that image array. This is like instant, right? I didn't have to do any sort of additional setup here, which is fantastic. So now in our data, we see that all three of those images are now inside of this image array column. And now I can point our image component to that new images array, and it's gonna have the exact same functionality. And what I love about this is that at any point in time, our admins can go back inside of the edit screen and add additional images and remove additional images without having to mess with additional columns or add rows and delete rows. And all of this only takes a singular update every time they wanna update any amount of images for any of their properties. Now, the last thing that I wanna mention here is that if I go back a screen, on this list of hotels, maybe we wanna pick out a certain image from each of these collections. If I were to point the image section of this collection to that new array, okay, it will pick the very first item. But what if we don't want the first item? What if we want like the third image that they picked or something? Okay, what we could do here is use a single value column in order to pick out individual images from the array. Okay, so if I wanted this third image instead, I can add a single value column. Let's call it third image. <laughs> And we're gonna get the last, because it's only the third of three, or if we wanna get a specific number, we can say from the start, and we can select zero being one, one being two, or two being three inside of an array, from that image array, and now we can grab just that specific image with inside of the array. What's also kinda cool about this is that if you just wanted some random image, you just choose your single value, Instead of from start, you choose random. And now every time they open the app, they'll get a random image from that image array. And it's here that we can display maybe that random image inside of our collection. All right, so hope you learned a couple of new things today. The first being that the image component can now accept an array of images. And if you do that, it's going to turn into an interactive image gallery, and it'll cycle through a bunch of images within that array. To create an array of images, you can either use a make array column to string together multiple images from the same row, or you can use a lookup column to grab an array of images from a relation, or you can now upload multiple images all at once into a new multiple images column using an image picker that's pointed to that column. And it'll let you drag and drop or upload multiple photos at any point in time and it only uses a single update. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if so, make sure you like and subscribe so that way you don't miss any of my future content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito and as always, thanks for watching.